Well, hello there. Good morning, I hope you're doing well. I have some exciting news. I should be moving house very soon, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. But there is one slight problem. It's very small. And when I say small, I mean very, very small. We need to declutter, we need to downsize. The first and hardest part is clothing. And we need to go through and try everything on. I've got trousers, skirts, a mysterious black bag, dresses and turtlenecks, tops, onesies and pajamas. And I don't know what this is. We've also got this rack. This is something I've been putting off for years. Clothing is gonna be the most difficult one. So we're gonna start there. We've then got shoes, coats, bags, and art supplies. I need to cut everything by about half. Let's do it. So there's only really one way to sort out clothes and that's by trying everything on. So that's what we're gonna have to do. That's why I've been putting this off for so long. I haven't done this in years. Half of it's probably not gonna fit. Okay, first up we've got this jumper. I like this jumper. It's about six years old and it's not soft. Next one, I'm pretty sure this is a keep as well. It's not soft. I don't have any soft jumpers left. I like it. It's baggy, it's comfy. I'm gonna keep it. This sweatshirt I was hoping would be cuter than it actually is. It just creases so easily. This one is a yes. Just just because of how cute it is. So it's like an ordinary jumper and then this is the back. I just think that's so pretty. There's a lot to do, let's race through them. I completely forgot to bring the mirror in. I can't see. Honestly, feels like cardboard and it's branded so I don't really wanna put it in the charity shop. Put it in the maybe pile for now. Whilst this one doesn't look very nice, it's pretty new so it's quite soft so I'm gonna keep it. about this one it's kind of small but it's still quite soft and i like that it's such a different color to anything else that i've got my partner might like it to be honest i think this is a men's to begin with i'll see if my partner wants it do you have those clothes that as soon as you buy them you just wear them non-stop that was this one this is fans and like how pretty is this i still absolutely love it this jumper honestly i can't tell you how old this jumper is it's literally just primark but it's so comfy because it's oversized it doesn't look nice it looks fine but it is a simple black jumper which would be quite easy to pair with like a pattern skirt this one is blue and i actually wore it in the cherry blossom video where we painted outside i don't think the sleeves are supposed to be that short okay i really love this jumper but i just don't like the fit on it. It's a little bit too small, but I don't know if I have the heart to get rid of it. And that's the back. I don't really want to get rid of branded things because I don't have many and I just, I don't want to get rid of them. Okay, this jumper is so weird. I can't even explain the material and that's why I've not worn it much. It's so stretchy. Kind of feels like, kind of like a swimsuit and a carpet combined. That's kind of what it feels like. Viscose, viscose and nylon. Yeah, that sounds about right. This one, I don't know if you can tell that they're all like the H&M basics, they're all the exact same style, but like the green one, I really like this color. I think it's quite unique and it's still quite soft, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is one that I just could not get to work. So it's like a cute little jumper like this. It's like elastic here. So you kind of end up with this weird backy bit here. I don't know, it's just such a weird fit. This is a slightly different type of video, but we're now gonna be moving on to the moving series part of these vlogs. And it's something I needed to do. I'd watched Haley's Corner and Your Homegirl do these, and I really love watching them, so. This is, this is too small. Like, this one I don't wear nearly enough. It needs to tie up at the back, but it's really cute. It just creases so easily, but I got it as a present, so obviously I'm gonna keep it. You might have seen this one a lot. It's cheap, but it's so cute. Okay, I think that's all the jumpers now. So far we have this. I think in next we'll move on to long sleeves. Oh, this is tight. This one is also an odd feeling, but I don't know, it's just so cute. Honestly, I might see if my partner would like this one because I think this would look really good on him. This one is a little bit small. I got this at a thrifting event and it's Ralph Lauren, but I feel like this is one of those tops that would be really good with a patterned skirt. I have found the turtlenecks. Well, this one I'm definitely keeping. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. This isn't very nice. It's not a very nice color. In the winter when it's really cold, I like wearing these under jumpers so that my belly doesn't get cold. The ones that I like to wear under these jumpers, the ones I like to wear around the house, those are gonna be the ones that I'm prioritizing. 
This one does have a slight hole, but I might try and repair it because I really like this. It's really comfy. So hear me out. This is, this is a child size. I've had it for about 15 years. It's a little bit tight on my neck, but it is still cute. I like the color. I might keep this one, but perhaps not the next one. Oh, that is see through. Since we get rid of the other Christmas jumper, this is the only one I have left. The Christmas jumper is that kind of thing that you should own. Even if I do wear it, it's only like one month that you can wear it for, which seems like a waste. Whenever I go places, I... Ow. I've got a vest top on. There's a few blouses to go through, but I don't really wear that kind of thing anymore. So I might actually kind of get rid of all of them. This is one of those blouses that looks cute on the hanger and then you put it on. It's so see-through that you have to put something underneath and then it's so obvious that I just don't think it looks cute anymore. This one is so old. This is probably well over 10 years old. I don't know, it's like a cute shirt. It's cute for like going to an interview or something. I also have this one, which I got for work and it does up like that and honestly like it is cute but again we've got the sleeve problem i don't remember when my arms grew but they must have done you might have seen me wear this a lot just because it's so pretty definitely cute and with that i think we're moving on to tops t-shirts vest tops let's do it first things first i have two of these nude tops but i'm thinking of only keeping one yeah i think this one's better i will donate the other one this is really cute the only problem is because it's sleeveless i feel like i would need a blazer or something and we're gonna be trying on a couple of blazers today and i don't think either of them are gonna fit this top i got from a vintage kilo thrifting event it's ralph lauren and i cut the bottom but i just feel like it doesn't look very cute this one is cute it's a little bit small <laughs> this one is really similar and i don't know it's cute i just I think it's a little bit out there. The logo is very big. Wow, this one is so tight. But I feel like this could be really cute on someone else. This one is well over 10 years old. It's quite see-through and it's quite tight. This is the other one. It doesn't feel as nice. It doesn't look as nice. It's just not my style. Now we're moving on to this big top. This is all just tops. This vest top I've had for absolute years. Same with this one. This is about 10 years old and I never really was a fan because of just how see-through it is. I think if you're wearing a vest top you shouldn't have to wear a vest top underneath this is another one that i've had for ages and it's really cute the shoulders are just so tight that i can't really maneuver in them whilst this one is a little bit tight on the arms it's not very old i wore this one so much when i was a kid i found another long sleeve this one is ralph lauren there's a tiny little logo there but you can't really see it at all i think it's just a bit too cropped now it's so high that i don't really wear it this one is very cropped as well, but I think it's supposed to be because it's still quite a comfy fit and I did only get it last year. The thing about living in Britain is it's basically jumper weather all year round, but if we have a bit of a heat wave, you need little tops like these because nowhere has aircon. <laughs> Oh, do you remember when these used to be in fashion? Look how high the neckline is now because it's just so small. I can't move, and if I do move my arms, this is just not practical. Did you get home late? Did you think about your ex today? I know that you've been trying to work on that. Moving on to the t-shirt section, there are a lot of them. Most of them are either band tops or souvenir holiday tops that I just can't get rid of. This is so crease, but I don't have the heart to get rid of it. It's what I wore to the Guns N' Roses concert. Did you feel lonely? Did you maybe almost call me? Did you bore you? If you're a Yumi at Six fan, you'll know exactly what this is. Oh, this one is tight now. Time we talk. This is one that I tie-dyed myself when I was a child, so obviously I need to keep that. You see what I mean when I say most of the t-shirts I can't get rid of? They are sentimental. So we didn't make much progress there. This one is yes, 100%. It's so pretty and you would have seen me wear it a lot. The reason I really love these ones so much is because they're so thick here that you don't need to wear a bra and that is my ideal. You said maybe we should talk less. It's more than art at all. I'm not saying I don't want this, I'm just terrified, it's all. Well, if it were up to me, we'd be the dark. 
Made virtually no progress on the t-shirts. Honestly, like I don't have the heart to get rid of ones that are kind of souvenir tops. Okay, if I do this top the entire way up, I'm not gonna get out of it. We're back, I've had some lunch. We're gonna move on to bottoms next. These shorts are Levi's. They are kind of falling apart. I bought them secondhand and they've got so many holes underneath and everything. Okay, I can't get the shorts on and I don't think the top fits well enough to keep it. So these are both gonna have to go. So I guess that we should talk less It's more than not at all Things are going good I played some shows I read These mum jeans I have are so pretty but I just can't get them over my thighs so these are a no Random thoughts three in the morning I know you these Levi's aren't going up, but I desperately want to keep them because I got them from America. Well, I guess some good news is that these jeans that were too big are now perfect fit. This is my second pair of American Levi's and they don't fit. These jeans are such a weird fit because they're really tight here and then they're really big here. But I actually got rid of a load of jeans just a few months ago. So this is pretty much all that I've got. So I'm gonna keep them. I don't really wear leggings anymore, but I feel like I should keep one pair just because they're quite comfy to wear around the house. I do like these trousers, but honestly, they're just so thin that I might as well just be wearing shorts instead. I'm gonna go through the mysterious items first. Oh, these trousers are not flexible. In the mysterious box, I think this is kind of pajamas. That's nice, that's nice. Oh, I found a top. How many pajamas does one person need to own? NYPD hoodie that I'm obviously keeping. Here we go, we're now at my interview outfit. Literally, I've left it like that. This little corset that I got is so cute. Oh, it's a size 10. Maybe it will still fit. This is what I got. It's brand new. And I don't think the trousers are gonna fit, but if that's a 10, that should still fit. And I also like to keep some for when I do hair dye. These bottoms, I'm definitely keeping, they are so comfy. Black joggers are always helpful. Oh, I've also got these pajamas, which I don't think are very comfy at all. They're just like checkered ones. Now for the bin bag. Oh no, I've got some brand new trousers in here, which I bet won't fit. But at least if they've got tags on, they might sell okay. We're now in trouser territory, and I don't think any of these are gonna fit. So it's gonna free up a lot of space. This is the pile that we've got next. We've also I got these dresses, those dresses over there. When it comes to trousers, I know that the majority aren't gonna fit because they were quite tight fitting when I got them and I have since gone on medication that's made me gain weight. So I just don't think that they're gonna fit. No, I know they're not gonna fit. I also have this top, which I got from a vintage kilo sale. I was gonna crop it, I was gonna crop it small. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do with it yet. This is so creased, but I'm sure the sleeves aren't supposed supposed to be here. I like it because if you roll up the sleeves, it's kind of floral underneath. I just feel like that's pretty. Ignoring the top, I think the blazer is kind of doable. Ignoring the top again. This is H&M. This is a size bigger than the last one. Like, that's sad. Pajama leggings, but you can just about get away with them as trousers maybe. But look how gorgeous that pattern is. Even if I could get them on, I'm not gonna be able to go to the loo. These ones I love as well. These are H&M and they're such a good material. Okay, this is a no, but it's a no in a really weird way. It's just really tight on like my knees. I have three pairs here, which were really cheap and I think I just wasn't a fan of the material. So they might fit, but don't know if I would keep them. Yeah, so they kind of fit, but they do look like leggings. They don't look like trousers. Okay, these ones I think I did like, but don't they look like leggings? Don't they look like something that you'd wear on a night out. They do feel like a swimsuit. Onto something a little bit less sad now, dresses. I got a lot of new dresses, like maybe the year before last. So they're not very new at all. This one is my favorite. I absolutely love it. And it's also got like this kind of lining. Honestly, they're all pretty much identical, exact same look. I've got a yellow one. I've got a pink one. I've got this black one, which I've been wearing a lot for winter because I can put black tights with it. This one, which is a lot brighter than it looked. I've worn them more recently, so I know that they fit. I wear them a lot. That's it for the milk my dresses. This dress I got for work, I think it's pretty cute. I think it could be an interview outfit if it needs to be. I did think the corset was not going to be attached, I must admit. It is attached there, which I'm not a huge fan of. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this one is tight now. It's not done up, but this is the gist of this dress. It's really pretty, but I just can't find a way to keep this stuck down. I think this is gonna have to be a no dress because it's so short that I can barely walk in it. Hmm. This dress is comfy, I do like it, but it's one of those ones that was a nice, safe, non-revealing dress, and now it's not. The back is completely open, but I never wore it because it's so see-through, and I think that's still the case. This one's a no. This, I haven't even done it up at the back. It's a play suit that I really loved. As I do the zip, it just goes higher. This is a no. Yeah, it's a pinafore, it's really cute, but it's just too short. This one has a little tie, but it's pretty good to wear just going to the beach or something. I bought this about 10 years ago and it's finally got to the point now where it actually kind of fits me. It's not my style. And I think that's the first day done. I am tired. Tomorrow we're going to go through coats, shoes, bags, and then we'll be going through art supplies. And then eventually in the next episode, we're going to need to pack everything. Hiya, good morning. The weather is so strange today. It's kind of raining, but it's also really sunny. I think we're going to start with shoes. This is the absolute state of it. I've got all the shoes out. Let's go through them together. It's got to the point where I really only wear the same shoes every day So I think it's time to cut them down a little bit by the front door I've got some checkerboard bands and wellies, which I'm definitely gonna be keeping I've also got white converse, which of course I'm gonna be keeping Timberland sandals that look a little bit funky, but I'm gonna be keeping those I have two old pairs of Converse. I also have these sandals, which gave me crazy blisters. I've got a couple of Dolly shoes that I just don't really wear anymore. Pink Converse. I just kind of struggled to pair them with outfits. Nike blazers. These are old and I got them secondhand. These were both secondhand when I got them. I really like them, but there's just so many laces that they're so hard to get on, but I might try and sell them if possible. You can see that they don't have a thick sole so it kind of feels like you're just walking on the ground barefoot i've worn these so much you can literally see just how dirty they are i've also got these knee highs which i wore outside recently they got so muddy i mean they're pretty cute all right let's see what we got one two three four five six seven eight for the keep pile one two three four five six to get rid of that's not too bad i have these knee highs which i <laughs> I really love that they do give me blisters. And I've got these and these. Nice four pairs of knee highs to keep though, but I really love them. Oh, these are very flattened. I've only got these two pairs of heels. I've just tried them on and I like both of them. So not much success in this room. One bag that I am gonna get rid of is this one. I've had this one for so long. This bit here has been broken for ages and I've still been using it. This is the only rucksack I have. So I'm gonna have to keep this one. I can't really bear to get rid of. It's so cute. And I got it about 10 years ago. This one I got really recently it's fake this bag which i think will be going this one i got from harrods so i can't really bear to get rid of it i also got this one from macy's moving on to coats now and then we'll move on to art supplies which i think will be a little bit more interesting for you i've got one here that i think will be going so i just got all of them this ski jacket is well over 10 years old but it's still pretty much fits and it's nice and warm for when it's like really really cold i should have got it in a different size this one is a definite yes this is a levi's jacket that i got from a vintage kilo sale i think it's a 46 it's very comfy so this is a key this one i do change my mind on quite a lot but it's really comfy so i think i'm gonna keep it i've had this jacket well over 10 years but i just can't bear to get rid of it this is just a white north face jacket but it bundles up quite small so i might keep it it's just a rain jacket yeah. And lastly is this Marmot soft shell jacket. It just doesn't really fit anymore, like. This is the mountain of clothes from yesterday. I think I'm gonna quickly pack them away now because I don't want them getting jumbled up with the to-go section. And all of this packing, I'm gonna be filming for the next vlog. I'll see you tomorrow when we move on to art supplies. Hello, it's time to move on to the art supplies. The current situation is very messy. 
This is the first shelf and then we've got this one and this one. There are simple elements like these are overflowing and I have some more washies in here so I would like to get some more of these big boxes. I think we need to go through everything first and see if there's anything that we can get rid of. Honestly though I don't think there's really much point in putting everything back on the shelf in a really nice way because we have given notice on the rent now so we will be moving somewhere in the next month. So I'm gonna get everything out, do the decluttering, see what we can get rid of and then in the next episode we're gonna be packing it all This is everything that's on the first shelf and I mean there must be a more efficient way of storing this. Well the brushes will stay in the pot. This is just full of all my tiny acrylic tubes. I mean this one looks really cute though. Like, this is all my gouache in a tiny little pot. I'm sure one of these glue sticks doesn't even work. Yeah. This one, this one is completely gone. I found this shoe box which is empty and I'd obviously stored it with supplies last time. I don't know what used to be in here. This shoe box could work for all of the loose stuff that we've got maybe. The biggest culprit is this mysterious tub. Now I've got all of these sticks which I think I'm going to store in. They fit quite well in there. These are all watercolour paints that don't fit in there. I've got some big acrylic tubes which I just don't know where to put these. I got this which came with my tube squeezer and I'm not exactly sure what it's used for. Is it supposed to constantly be on the paint tube and then you move it along? So that's how much is in the box currently. Okay this is literally an empty ink bottle but because it's glass I just don't have the heart to get rid of it. I also was keeping hold of these old coasters. These were just free. I was thinking I could gesso them and paint on them. Yeah there's a load of just random stuff in here like Cocktail sticks are super helpful. They're always handy. Got more goo pots. This is what the mysterious pot is looking like at the moment. I think I'm gonna leave this just in case there's anything else to be added. The washi tapes, I'm gonna take out their packaging just because they're quite big. Here's the other one. And I might take these brushes out of their case. If I put all of the washi in here, because I found the lid for this, so I could do that. There's so much unnecessary packaging. That's pretty. I might keep those sides for journaling. That's the washi. Let's get everything off this shelf now. Suntan, sunscreen, strawberry, ice cream, midsummer's daydream, sipping in between, long days, warm nights, gliding like light kites, sapphire, clear skies, whipped cream, cherry pies. This looks so messy right now. This is my gouache palette. I could store it slightly differently, but there's not really anything to get rid of. It's like pens, pastels. It's all things that I use. The only thing that I did really want to do was I really wanted to top up these palettes. I've got three palettes that I used to use for sketchbook work. This one is pretty empty. I was gonna put loads of effort into cleaning them, but honestly, I just wanna be able to use them. So I think I'm just gonna wash them and fill them up. Oh, I've got some more washies here. I'll add these washies to here. This, which I might put away somewhere. Ooh, like I'll definitely keep the sketchbooks, but I don't think there's too much that's like loose papers. I do like to keep all of the details from a sketchbook so that if I do a review, I have everything available, but they should be stored a little bit better. I also have this habit of keeping art boxes, things like this, which I have no clue what I'm gonna do with. It's like I'm finally able to buy fancy art supplies. So I keep them all literally. <laughs> These are so messy. These are back from when I didn't really know what I was doing when I was a kid. I kind of welded on. There isn't really much I can do with them. I don't know. What would you do with a palette like this? It's so thin that it can't really scrape off. Oh, they're handy. Okay. I got this years ago. I got this about 10 years ago. It's like a stationary thing. Did you know that rubber bands could kind of melt like that? They've not been heated in the slightest. It's just been 10 years and literally like that's, that's elastic band. That's an elastic band. It's literally just falling off. So just cheap colour pencils from the works and I've never used them. I got them as a secret Santa. I can't tie it in an elastic band because they've all melted and cracked. I might put these in the charity shop bag because I know that they're not great, 
but I mean, they would be good for a child. Got another one. I think I'm gonna put all the little things in here. Got some random rulers, which I'll pop in here. Okay, I've put all my paintbrushes in here. I think that might be a little bit better to transport. The ones I've got left are, I've got these free, which I'm not too fussed about. But the rest, I'm gonna attempt to charity shop. If anyone wants them, they can have them, you know. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where my other dip pen's gone. I think I might have accidentally put it in there and I'm gonna get stabbed next time. And I think I'll pop all of these in here. I know we just transferred them, but I'm gonna do that. Ah. Got my rainbow pencils. I wanted to put two in the outdoor bag. Yeah, all of these rubbers are so messy now because the charcoals fell out. What is that? Got the kneaded eraser and I've got the messy charcoal in a bag. And to be honest, I might put the rubbers in because they're pretty messy too. Honestly, I don't feel like this is much cleaner, but I've kind of scraped the charcoal out. That's the best I could do. Let's see which of these pens work. Turns out they're all okay. This is what we need to fill up the paint palettes with. They're not really light fast, so I don't really use these paints much other than sketchbook work. We've not got that much left of each color. I think we're gonna use up quite a few tubes. So honestly, bear with me on this. I think we're gonna use up these tubes and I'm thinking of taking the plastic out and just storing all of my paint tubes in here, all my watercolors. All right, let's go wash the palettes. How much better do these look? I can't wait to actually fill them up. Obviously I could have done a slightly better job, but I mean, some of this has actual paint in the corner, so I ended up leaving them. Hello, good afternoon, how are you doing? The palettes are dry. I can't believe how quickly they dried considering they were literally flooded. Considering they were pretty much unusable, I think this is a lot better. I would really like these palettes to be mostly these paints so I can get through them because this is just sketchbook work. I don't want to use my expensive paint. That is one down already. These tubes really don't hold much. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. The corner coffee shop we like to go. Finally done, covered in paint all over. Let me show you. This is the paint. And this is what it currently looks like. So I've managed to fill quite a few. I also painted this and these just with what was left on top of the tubes. These are the ones to go. We've got 16 that are all finished and nine that still have quite a bit left. Let's see if these plastic things come out. actually fits absolutely fine so maybe I didn't need to be as brutal with the paint. I was hanging on to tubes that had the tiniest bit of paint in for no reason whatsoever. Well that's it I think we've successfully decluttered. Next vlog is a big one we're gonna be packing and moving into the new house. It's scary make sure you're subscribed for that one. Thanks for joining me I know this one's been a long one and it's been a hefty one to edit so please give it a like if you have enjoyed. Look after yourself and I'll see you on Thursday with a new video. Bye bye. The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me